Oh no, I didn't mean to. So you came, young Luke. The chief has already left to set up a protection around the populated areas. You sent her off to the wrong location? What choice did I have? She is reaching her limit. We have to force her to stand by to regain her strength. So now we can finish our little talk. We've got one follower right here. And the other one is Annabelle. Though I don't think she knows it herself. Nanu and I, we found her her here 10 years ago, unconscious on the shore of this very island. We just finished our mission here. She had lost most of her memories, but four things she could tell us. That her name was Annabelle, that she came from the Hoenn region, that she had protected some tower there, and that she was a powerful trainer. Then she was placed under observation by the international police, and because they were detecting an insane amount of ultra wormhole energy from her, it may be that she was wandering lost in a wormhole for some time. Regardless of that, she she then entered the international police herself. And then got promoted right pa past you, her senior, is that it? Gotta hand it to the international police, they really are terrible. Using the same strategy and setting up another follower, even though the same thing failed before. Your assumptions, you are half right in. However, this mission, she chose herself. Perhaps something in her limits, whether she is conscious of it or not. Perhaps she feels some grief over the fate of the UB, which came to this world just as she did. But she's still a follower. It is her fate to be targeted by the UBs. With a follower right before them, the UBs will run wild with excitement. No matter how good she might be, everyone has their limits. This is why I had hoped to distract the UBs to divert some time off their attention. That is why I asked you to help with the catching of the UBs. But you're out of luck now. With Annabelle in that condition, she'll be done it before she runs into any UBs now. Hmm. Yes, and I imagine that the false lead I sent her out on will not buy us much more time. But before we're out of time, boy, how about a battle with me? What a good little boy you are. Let let's go. Alright, Kahuna. Sableye. Oh, I forgot. Power, let's go. Crocodile Crowned Dark. Of course, intimidate. Super again. Fifty 
59. Nice. Punch Crow. Yes. Stone Edge. Persian. Come on, oh, let's go. Sky Percut. Get um. Flinching. Mm -hmm. Stop. Don't you. Mm -hmm. Come on, again, again. Really avoided the attack. Get out of here. Absol. Oh no. Dazzling Gleam. Nine, nice. Hm, looks like you got me. That'll do, boy. I think that'll do fine. Don't let me down. I won't. Triple zero. Well then, young Luke, it's our time to get down to work, is it not? Our final UB, codenamed Glutton. And who said that he would lead me deep into the heart of Resolution Cave? Ten beast balls, okay. This is your final assignment, but first, my young friend, let's get the regular reports out of the way. Resolution Cave? Resolution Cave. Yes, please heal me. I 
Hearts, Ruins of Hope, Ancient Pony Path, Last Pony Canyon, that's the Altar of the Sun. Here we are. Super repel. All right. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Jesus. One, really? More cleft key.
All right. Fuck. Son of a bitch! Come on, come on, please, please, please! Yes! Chunky War Pokemon, Dark and Dragon. Okay. Is, oh, there's something else here. effect we're off let's see I do have one more around here where is it something here adrenaline orb okay so escape rope where's the escape rope Here it is. the mission I finished sending the data from the UBU protected to HQ and to Mr. McKay as well. Thank you for your hard work. Now we will be able to learn others to know about Glossword, otherwise known as UB Clotten. We've done it, Chief. Yes. 
We have successfully contained all the UBs. Thank you so much for all your hard work on these missions. And Mr. Looker? Not at all. All I did was provide backup to the two of you. It was all you and Luke, Chief. And now that we have finally completed our missions, I will treat you all to the Feast of... One moment, please. But what is it, Chief? We have finally reached it, our grand finale, which we should end with big, big feast. Our truly final mission requires that we get to an Aether Paradise to report Miss, to Miss Wiki that we contain all of the UBs. Oh, indeed, you are right. We must thank her for the Pokeballs, known as Beast Balls. We will go on to Paradise to report Miss Wiki about your success. If you are free, why don't you come along? Yeah, sure. We have a wedding for you, Luke. Luke, thank you for coming. I'd like to thank you first for all your hard work and ten UBs. On behalf of the entire Foundation, I would like to offer you our most sincere thanks. With this, all the UBs that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole, which opened an earlier incident, have been caught. No, oh no, we're the ones who should be thanking you, I think. We could not have done it without the use of the Beast Balls that provided us. There are negative assets to the Foundation. I'm happy to see them put to good use. I already know I can thank the two of you. Ah yes, Mr. Luker also did a great deal to help us with this mission. But I thought that he left before us. What has taken him so long to get here? I know that I told him that we would meet here. Could something have happened? Really, Mr. Luker, even at this time... I'm sorry, I know it's a terrible habit, but I can't help it. And more importantly, it's a disaster. I would imagine it must be. What happened that made you so late? I was on my way here when I stopped by Mela Mela Island to get some of their famous and delicious melasadas as a gift for you all. But just when I had finished my purchase, I chanced to look up at the sky and there... There it was! A mysterious black something was zipping all across the bright blue sky over Alola. It was black, and yet it was shining somehow. It was like it was refracting light. I might have been a UB. No, I'm certain of it. Sure, it wasn't UB. But it couldn't be. We haven't had any word from HQ about there being more UBs. Please rest easy. I do not think it was a UB. We have heard we have hundreds of our Foundation members working in parallel with the international police, investigating and screwing Alola for UBs. We have not detected any UBs other than the ones you have already contained for us. So you see, we should be quite safe for now. I suppose, perhaps I just dazzled by the brilliant shining sky that scratches over Lola. And it is little wonder if you were dazzled. You have been working so very hard. You must be very tired, Mr. Looker. Well, yes, I suppose I could do with a nice little break. And now you can have it. I received a message from HQ saying that our paid leave has been approved. Paid leave? You mean actual vacation time? They say we are free to do whatever we would like until we get our next orders from HQ. I hope you will also look, use this chance to relax for a little while, Mr. Looker. I think that I will stay here and have a good look around the Lola region. Not for work this time, but just as a regular tourist doing some sightseeing. And I think that I will go and eat my fill of delicious alone cooking. There are simply too many restaurants and eateries that I wish to visit, and the traditional sh dishes at Sushi High Roller are absolute sublime. Sushi high roller. Oh no, I completely forgot. I was supposed to be meeting someone. What's this? A date? No, no, not a date. I'm meeting with Mr. Nanu. 
We owe him quite a bit for all his help. Yes, I suppose we do. So if you'll we'll excuse me, look, everyone, I'm afraid I must be going. But I really do thank you all. I hope we'll meet again someday. Yes, my young Luke. Also, thanks. It was because of your efforts that we were able to keep the chief safe if until... The folks at HQ thought that you needed to be paid for your work, so they sent this ticket. Oh. And now I think that it's time that, that I went. I'll be staying at the motel on Mela Mela Island, though, so feel free to stop by any time. Lola shines beautifully. 